Across the country, many protesters have been chanting and demanding the defunding of police departments. But what does that actually mean for Massachusetts police departments if they were to defund the men and women in blue? Western Mass News reporter Lisa McCann has the story. Protests continue across Massachusetts about defunding, dismantling and abolishing police departments. But what exactly does all of that mean to our local law enforcement? It seems to be just a uh, almost like a rallying cry. Chief Jeff Farnsworth, the president of the Massachusetts Chiefs of Police, tells Western Mass News that defunding a police department simply won't work. Chief Farnsworth explains defunding can actually be damaging to a society and even to law enforcement. How can you not have policing? I mean, the last time that something was defunded was our mental health system. The funding was reduced tremendously on it and that put a huge strain on other segments of, you know, of our uh, society, particularly law enforcement also. In Northampton, the mayor has proposed a revised budget that would take away more than $19,000 from police. In a document written by Mayor Narkowitz obtained by Western Mass News, it reads in part, I am submitting this revised substitute order for the fiscal year 2021 general fund budget, which would change the original $193,579 increase to a decrease of $19,066 of the Northampton Police Department budget over the current fiscal year 2020 budget. That's a proposed change of more than $210,000. Northampton Police Chief Jody Casper issued a statement on the proposed cuts, saying, quote, The revised fiscal year 21 police budget includes a cut to the funding of our vehicles. We normally purchase five vehicles per year, and with the revised budget, we would be purchasing only two vehicles. This means we will be retaining older vehicles with higher mileage and increased maintenance costs. Chief Farnsworth says as a society, now is the time to come together. We're just unbelievable looking at that incident that sparked all this. It just It's jaw-dropping. And a friend of mine said, and I, I would reiterate it, that nobody hates a bad cop more than a good cop. And that's definitely the case. For Western Mass News, I'm Alyssa McCann.